All right, all right. Are you guys ready to have a good time tonight? Say yeah. Oh, come on. I think you can do better than that. Are you ready to have a good time? Say yeah. All right. I'm so excited to be here tonight. The Power Team is a group of world-class athletes. We travel all over the country, all over the world, doing some of the most amazing feats you've ever seen. Some of the stuff you may have seen on Ripley's, believe it or not, some of them are world's strongest man, and some of them we've had guys on That's Incredible. Hey, we've been featured on uh, Walker, Texas Ranger with Chuck Norris. We actually did a school assembly. The Power Team, we do have one of the top-rated school assemblies in America. We do over 1,000 public school assemblies a year. We go in there and encourage those young people to live a life of excellence, respect authority, and have integrity and character in their life. How many of you parents, you think that's important in today's society? Amen. And so tonight is not a bodybuilding program. Tonight is not a brick-breaking program, but tonight is a faith-building program. And I'm not ashamed of God, amen, and I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it has the power to heal and forgive, restore families, and comfort people. But tonight I want to tell you something. You'll never hear me brag about how much I can bench press. These other two guys that are coming to town, coming to town this week, you'll never. Some of those guys have 20-inch biceps, but you'll never hear them brag about how big they are or how strong they are. But you will hear them brag about a man named Jesus Christ that changed their life forever. Amen. And tonight, tonight we're going to start this program off with a bang. Does anybody know what I have in my hand? A whoopee cushion. Man, this ain't no whoopee cushion. This is a hot water bottle. If this was a whoopee cushion, this would be the world's largest whoopee cushion. So if you hear something, you know, you might want to check your neighbor because it's not coming from up here, all right? All right. This is a hot water bottle bought from Walmart, guaranteed not to pop, burst, or explode for 10 years if you put hot water in it. But tonight, I'm going to place this to my mouth, and I'm going to attempt to blow this thing up with the power of my lungs until this thing explodes. How many of you want to see that? Now, I got to warn you, this is very, very tough. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, when this thing pops, it's like taking a six-foot rubber band, pulling it back against your face, and letting it pop you in the face. There was actually a bodybuilder in Arizona one time. He was blowing up one of these hot water bottles. The bottle was getting so big, he had to stand on his tiptoes. All of a sudden, he hiccuped. The air went back down into his lungs and actually ruptured one of his lungs. So, guys... Don't go home tonight and go to Walmart and say, baby, I still got it. And try to blow one of these hot water bottles, all right? This is a tough, tough feat. We're trained professionals, and we know what we're doing most of the time, all right? But anyway, we have had some embarrassing moments, too. We were blowing up one of these hot water bottles, Southern California, over 3,000 students in this one gymnasium. My friend, his, we call him the human Johnny, was six foot seven, 325 pounds. He wore a size 17-inch shoe. This guy was walking across over 3,000 students in this one gymnasium. He was blowing up this hot water bottle. The bottle was getting so big. All of a sudden, I noticed there was this little English teacher sitting on the front row. She had this long flowing dress on, and she was grading her papers. But what I noticed about this little English teacher was she was about 4 foot 11, but she had this big hair thing going on that made her about 6 foot 5. He was walking around blowing up this hot water bottle. The bottle was getting bigger and bigger. She was grading her paper. She wasn't paying attention. All of a sudden, it happened. Boom. His size 17 inch shoe landed on her long floor dress. And before I could say, ma'am, get out of the way, it happened. Boom. Gotcha. The hot water bottle popped. We saw the hot water bottle going on one side of the gymnasium. And ladies and gentlemen, on the other side of the gymnasium was a big hairy frisbee. So hold on to those wigs. It shot the wig right off the top of her head. That's a true story. Hold on to those wigs. Hold on to those weaves. Hold on to those hair pieces. It could be a bad hair day for somebody. For some of you, it already is. But don't worry about it. All right. Hey, I need your help. We're going to play some music. I'm going to attempt to blow this up. Can you cheer me on? Can you help me out tonight? Come on, put your hands together.
many of you enjoyed that? Raise your hand. That's good, because I didn't. All right. Wow. That's a tough feat of strength. I told you, man, that thing popped me in the head. Whew, that's a tough feat of strength. All right. Let me catch my breath for a second. Uh, don't try that, all right? That's tough. Don't try that. That's a tough feat of strength. All right. Hey, I'm going to do some more crazy stuff. What I have in my hand, this is a baseball bat. We break, we, we break and buy more bats than any professional baseball team out there. And what I have is this bat. What I'm going to do with this bat is I'm not going to hit a baseball today, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this bat. I'm going to attempt just to press it down on my leg. Now, how many of you have ever seen baseball when you see a guy who strikes out, he slams the bat over his leg, he's kind of frustrated or mad? Well, that's the easy way to break a bat. Today, I'm just going to place this on my thigh just by pressing down attempt to snap it in half like a toothpick. It takes over 450 pounds of pressure to snap a bat. But I need a volunteer to come up here and help me out real quick. A volunteer. How about, uh, how about you? Come on. No, how about you? You come up too. How about you? Come on. Come on up, both of you. All right. All right. Come on over here. I won't bite you. All right. All right. What's your name? Jacob. Jacob, nice to meet you. Good to meet me? All right, good job. What's your name? Mackenzie. Mackenzie, nice to meet you, all right. All right, guys, you're gonna be the hands and eyes of all the boys and girls out here, okay? So what I want you to do is just take this baseball bat, make sure there's no cracks, no cuts. Just take the baseball bat, make sure there's no funny business going on. All right, just look at the bat up and down. Make sure there's no cracks, no cuts, no funny business. Is that a real baseball bat? It's not a Sammy Sosa bat, is it? Uh-oh, all right. All right, yep, now, look at it up and down. Is that a real baseball bat? All right, just lightly tap it on the ground. All right, in just a second, I'm going to attempt to break that baseball bat. Then what I have is a Quad City area phone book, over a 1,000, well, excuse me, about 700 pages. What I'm going to do with this phone book, can you guys see me, man? I can't, these lights are bright, all right. 700 pages is what I'm going to do with this phone book. I'm going to take it in the palm of my hands, and I'm going to attempt to rip it down the middle like one sheet of paper, okay? I want you to flip through there. Just make sure there's no pages cut, no funny business going on. All right. Is that a real phone book? All right. Just flip through there. Make sure no pages have been cut. All right. Is that a real phone book? Yeah. All right. And then what I have, this is a crowd favorite. This is what we call audience participation. What I have in my hand is a Diet 7-Up. And just a second, I'm going to take this Diet 7-Up and I'm going to push. I'm going to squeeze. I'm going to push again until the can goes. And everybody on the first seven rows gets soaking wet. No, no. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The only way that will happen is if we were to shake this can. But we have a new rule in the power team. We cannot shake the can anymore. Because if we were to shake this can, everybody on the back row could get wet over there. Everybody over there could get wet. So we don't shake the can, all right? Because if you shook the can, it could be very bad. But one reason we use Diet 7 Up, listen to this. It has no sugar, no color. So if it gets on your clothes, guess what? It'll match your outfit. How about that? Also, Ladies, we thought about you too. Guess what? It has no calories. Amen. All right. All right. Just look at that. Is that a real dot seven up? Is that a real dot seven up? All right. Give them a hand clap. Good job. You can go back to your seat. All right. Then how many have you ever seen the world's strongest man competition on ESPN? Man, those guys are so big, they have hair growing out of their nose. They have hair growing out of their ears. They have hair growing out of their teeth. Man, those guys are huge. That's a joke. It's a joke. All right, she thinks it's real. All right. Anyway, hey, listen up real quick. Shoulders back, head and eyes up here. What I have is a steel bar. And the world's strongest man, they took a steel bar and they would line up in a single file line. The referee would blow the whistle. They would see who could be at the farthest in a certain amount of time. Well, today I have a half-inch steel bar, and I'm not going to bend this on top of my head or behind my neck, but I'm going to attempt to bite this in my teeth and attempt to bend it two times around. But to prove it's a real steel bar, I need two daring, daring young lady volunteers. 
to come help me out. How about you? Come on up. And how about you? Come on. All right. All right, girls, come on over here. Are you standing right here? All right, you girls face each other. I'm going to place the bar on your shoulder. Okay, move your hair, please. All right, I want you to get here. All right, now I want you to grab it with both hands. Pull down. Eight, pull down. All right, here's what I'm going to do. To prove this is a real steel bar, I'm going to get up under this bar, and I'm going to attempt to press these girls over my head like two dumbbells. How many of you want to see that? Now, wait, hold on. Did I just, I just, you know what? I just called them dumbbells. I'm sorry, girls. There's two types of weights. There's barbells and dumbbells. You're not dumbbells. You're two intelligent young ladies who are kind of nervous right now, okay? But anyway, I haven't worked out yet today, and so I need to find out about how much you girls weigh. I know girls are real sensitive about the whole weight issue, but I need to find out about how much you weigh so I can even know if I can lift you or not, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the microphone down. I just want you to whisper in my ear about how much you weigh, okay? We won't tell anybody, all right? How much do you weigh? Are you serious? <laughs> How much do you weigh? No way. Is it, Trish, where's she at? Do you have a calculator? No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's see. I got to add this up. Uh, carry the 2. Carry the 12. Carry the 24. That's almost 350 pounds. There's no way I can lift that. No, 300, just kidding. But I got two rules, okay? Rule number one, when you're up in the air, hold on, okay? Rule number two, when you're up in the air, hold on, okay? Because if you're up in the air and you let go, then how many of you ever seen one of those teeter-totters? Right there. She'd go in the side of the wall, we had to pull her out by her feet. But listen to this, the key to it is the louder you yell, I'll spin them around like a helicopter, all right? All right, can you cheer me on? Can you help me out? Come on, let's play some music. Good job. Let's go back to your seat. Was that fun? All right. Huh? Scary. All right. Good job. You can go back to your seat. All right. Now, I need a big, strong, adult man to come help me out. How about you, big guy? Come on up. All right. Wow. Look at the size of him. Make him an honorary power team member. Wow. Look at the size of this guy. Whew. All right. What's your name? Justin. Justin. All right. What grade are you in? Second. All right. Wow. All right, Justin. We're going to have a little friendly competition tonight, okay? See that stack of bricks behind you? What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to give you this baseball bat, okay? And you get one swing with the baseball bat, all right? However many bricks you break, I'm going to try to break more with one blow from my elbow. How many of you want to see that? So come on back here. All right, Justin. Here's the deal. You get one swing, okay? Everybody say one swing. All right, you get one swing to break as many bricks as possible, okay? Now, I see him wiping off his hands. We actually had a guy up here one time. He got real nervous, so I'm going to give you some, hand, some gloves. He got nervous. He threw the bat into the fifth row, and it took out this elderly lady's kneecap. So, so what? No, I'm just kidding. All right. All right. All right, you get one swing, and then however many you break. Now... I got two rules. Rule number one, don't let go. Rule number two, don't let go. All right. 
Yeah, one swing. Now, wait, wait, before you grab the bat, I got to tell you, three weeks ago, we were in California, and I was doing this middle school, and there was this sixth grade girl, and she broke five, okay? <laughs> so no pressure. She wasn't an ordinary sixth grade girl, though. She had a mustache and a goatee, but, you know, all right. All right, let's play him some music. Come on, cheer him on, the big Justin. Come on, swing it hard. Come on, swing it hard. Come on, Justin. Oh! Uh-oh. Hold on, let me get one, two, three, four. He broke four, give him a hand clap. Now Justin, are those real bricks? Yeah, they're real bricks. Are your hands stinging? No. Don't lie. All right, give him a hand clap. Good job, Justin. All right, I'm gonna start off with a baseball bat and I'm gonna attempt to rip the phone book, then bend the still bar. And then I'm going to end it off with some pop cans, all right? Can you guys make some noise? Can you cheer me on? Come on, help me out. Maybe still having a good time. You having a good time? Did I get anybody wet? Anybody get wet? Oh, I apologize. If you have a problem with it, you can see me after the program, all right? No, just kidding. All right. Woo. Got myself wet. All right. For a fantastic finish tonight. Boys and girls, listen up. Shoulders back. Head and eyes up here. For a fantastic finish tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my elbow and attempt to drive it through this stack of concrete. 
and attempt to break more bricks than he broke with one blow after the program. I made a mess up here, why? All right, but I wanna tell you, man, I'm excited about being here tonight. Boys and girls, listen up, shoulders back. I wanna encourage you to come out this week, Wednesday through Sunday night. I got two more guys coming with me. One guy by the name of Kerry Lehow, this guy used to ride on US Air Force One. Uh, with uh, President Bill Clinton. This guy was in the, uh, how many of you ever seen that movie Black Hawk Down? You ever see that? He was in that real life uh, combat over there in that, that movie. Uh, he wasn't in the movie, but he was in the real Black Hawk Down. He's going to be here this week. This guy's incredible. He can roll up frying pans with, uh, with his bare hands, roll them up into the shape of a burrito. This guy can tear decks of plastic coat of playing cards. He'll also break out a pair of steel police handcuffs. We have another guy named Tony Ellison. This guy plays semi-professional football. He's all the way from a little town called Sulphur, Oklahoma, but a strong, strong guy. This guy can drive his head. Boys and girls, his mom said, whatever you do in life, son, use your head. And so this guy now, he can break three feet of concrete with one blow from his head. Don't try that at home, okay? It's very, very tough. This guy also can run through four two-by-fours taped together while they burst into flames. Now I want to tell you something. 